tag along with 25 Texans in the land of Lincoln, an award winning documentary released last spring. Their more than 1000 mile trip began at the Alamo, stopping in front of the Illinois State Capitol. Jesse DeGriado says history students from St. Mary's University were on a mission three years ago that included paying homage to Illinois most revered citizen in a way you might not expect. My first day of class, Professor Van Hoy, one of the first things she said was, all right, I hope you guys start talking to each other because you're going to be on a 16 hour bus ride together. For 25 students from St. Mary's University, it was a day to remember for them and the curious onlookers outside the Illinois State Capitol. They'd probably never seen a Day of the Dead ofrenda or altar. So you got the picture of Abraham Lincoln, so it's like an offering up to his spirit. Much less one dedicated to President Abraham Lincoln. Our Lincoln stood up for Mexico and Mexicans. A little known fact that this St. Mary's professor teaches her students. Not only the 1860s, when Mexico was being invaded by the French, but also in the 1840s, when Mexico was being invaded by the United States. As somebody who's lived in Illinois my entire life, I never once heard about Lincoln's um, solidarity with Mexico. Van Hoy says Mexico shared Lincoln's belief in a key principle of democracy, government by the people. He was so revered, a Spanish language newspaper wrote after his assassination. Uno de los principales martires y salvadores de los seres humanos oprimidos. One of the principal martyrs and saviors of oppressed humanity. They called him Apostle of Peace of the Americas. If we don't tell that side of the story because we don't like it, well, then you still diminish from who he really was. Jesse DeGollado, KSAT 12 News. Very interesting. Now find out the other reason those students went to Illinois and the chilly reception they got by watching the documentary 25 Texans in the Land of Lincoln. We have a link on our website, ksat.com.